Hello all, in this video we will see about pathology important questions covering the previous year questions especially from the Tamil Nadu MGR Medical University. Since the syllabus is same for all throughout the Indian colleges, the uh, questions will also overlap with the other universities. This video will give you a gist of the important questions which will help you in the preparation. So let us see through the video. Um, let us move chapter wise so which will be helpful more than the uh, year wise questions I have arranged the uh, year wise questions into chapter wise so it will be easier for you to learn during your revision period so moving on to the first chapter I have referred the book Harsh Mohan uh, for uh, the chapter order uh, cell in health and uh, disease is the first chapter and in that chapter the questions like apoptosis the differences between apoptosis versus necrosis and uh, in necrosis in detail with the classification and examples have been asked gangrene etiology and types and dry gangrene especially have been asked free radical mediated cell injury antioxidants and radiation injury of the cell have been asked pathological calcification especially dystrophic calcification the other one is metastatic calcification both have been asked and the fatty liver is one of the uh, topic in the intracellular accumulations chapter it has also been asked amyloidosis uh, the it's an important uh, topic uh, it has it has been asked many times and in amyloidosis uh, the specific questions have been pathological changes in the organ and amyloidosis the pathogenesis behind amyloidosis and what are the types of the amyloid how do you identify amyloid in tissue and what are the special stains for amyloid these kind of topics have been um, given importance while asking about amyloidosis Nutritional deficiencies and genetic disorders are small chapters in which scurvy, vitamin D deficiency, especially rickets and causes for malnutrition have been asked few times. Bar body, albinism, Down syndrome or trisomy 21 have been asked in the chapter of genetic disorders. The next major chapter is inflammation, immunity and infections. Uh, three main topics combined together under the uh, same heading. In that in, under the inflammation headings we have uh, the question of defining inflammation. Chemical mediators of inflammation and its role have been asked as an essay many times. Uh, complements and its role in inflammation. Arachidonic acid metabolites and its role in inflammation. Cellular events in inflammation, especially acute inflammation and vascular events in acute inflammation. Chemotaxis, what are the chemotactic agents? Cytokines and moving on to the chronic inflammation, we have granuloma types and mechanism of formation of granuloma how a granuloma is formed Gons complex or primary complex primary tuberculosis how it forms and what is the fate of primary tb you have to tell and congenital syphilis clinical features have been asked especially tertiary syphilis along with features complications have also been asked aids or hiv and the systemic and oral manifestations in aids or hiv have been asked opportunity infections especially in the immunocompromised conditions such as aids and oral candidiasis have been asked separately which is one of the opportunity infection it can also be asked as a fungal infection you need to know the clinical features and how to manage type 1 hypersensitivity have been asked in hypersensitivity chapter uh, moving on to the healing wound healing chapter we, they have been asking wound healing and the factors influencing many times types and mechanism of wound healing and uh, they have asked you to repair uh, define a uh, repair uh, regeneration sometimes uh, healing by primary intention and healing by secondary intention is what you should know while reading this chapter fracture healing have also been asked the next major chapter is fluid and the hemodynamic disorders uh, starting with um, obstructive disorders like thrombosis uh, they have asked you to define the thrombus what is a thrombus and uh, the organization of thrombus uh, factors uh, favoring thrombus formation that is which house tired will come uh, will uh, cover those topics uh, fate of thrombus have been asked embolism the types of embolism air embolism and especially caisson's disease have been asked multiple times shock the etiopathogenesis of shock to classify shock pathogenesis behind septic shock morphology of various organs in shock complications in shock and hypovolemic shock have been asked separately and uh, to, together as an essay have been asked many times infarct what is an infarct so define an infarct and types of infarct with examples edema 
define edema types of edema pathogenesis of edema etiology and pathogens of renal edema especially have been asked while reading about edema you should also read about the difference between exudate and transudate it is easy to remember uh, if you want a special video on that please request in the comments we'll make it on we will make a video on any topic of what you request atherosclerosis have also been asked along with the etiopathology of atherosclerosis growth disorders and neoplasia is the next major chapter uh, gr regarding growth disorders there have been questions on hyperplasia metaplasia dysplasia and atrophy both physiological and pathological atrophy physiological and pathologic hyperplasia along with examples have been asked now moving on to neoplasia to define neoplasm the etiology and lab diagnosis of cancer have been asked as an essay chemical carcinogens microbial carcinogens that is the etiology behind uh, neoplasia uh, so in general you need to know about classification of carcinogens and in microbial carcinogens oncogenic viruses have been given more importance and role of hpv alone have been asked human papilloma virus in cancer have been asked separately uh, pre neoplastic condition is an important topic pre cancerous lesions and pre cancerous conditions are both different you should know the difference between both and the difference between benign and malignant neoplasms have been asked benign and malignant neoplasms have been asked grading and staging of tumors is a common question you should know and you should also remember that these topics will also be helpful in, for you in third year oral pathology and in the upcoming years also so uh, put your full effort and learn while reading these questions roots of spread of malignant tumors especially metastasis to define metastasis the process behind it and the types with example have been asked what are the other roots of spread of malignant tumors you should also mention that tumor markers have been asked as a question so regarding certain individual topics on a certain individual uh, cancers like squamous cell carcinoma rodent ulcer that is basal cell carcinoma tumor and tumor like conditions of jaw aminoblastoma benign salivary gland tumors have been given importance these three topics have been asked since you are uh, particularly uh, preparing for your dental exams so um, concentrate on these topics also uh, pleomorphic adenoma have also been asked separately in hematology chapter which is a huge and important chapter uh, regarding the disorders of rbc you should know about anemia uh, define and classify and how to define and classify anemia iron deficiency anemia the peripheral blood picture and bone marrow picture remember any uh, anemia or any kind of leukemia you are going to learn you should always remember the uh, blood picture and bone marrow picture both will be definitely asked even if they are not asking even if, are, if the question is simply iron deficiency anemia since the exam is on pathology you should definitely write uh, the blood picture and bone marrow picture of uh, of the particular anemia or leukemia which is asked because it is a pathology exam lab diagnosis of iron deficiency anemia have been asked microcytic hypochromic anemia is synonymous with idea that is iron deficiency anemia so when they ask this as separately you should be writing about this megaloblastic anemia have been asked in detail and as essay many times the blood and bone marrow pictures are equally important sickle cell anemia hereditary spirocytosis pernicious anemia have been asked as separate questions leukemia to define and classify as you learnt about anemia to define and classify you should also read about leukemia the definition and the classification chronic myeloid leukemia have been asked as an essay uh, both for uh, chronic and acute they have asked blood and bone marrow pictures separately leukemoid reactions lymphoma in uh, lymphoma especially types of hodgkin's lymphoma reed stern bug cell have been asked a granulocytosis have been asked moving on to the chapter on the platelets and uh, bleeding and coagulation disorders the basic physiologic thing that is the coagulation cascade have been asked once thrombocytopenia causes have been asked idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura that is itp the short form of it has been asked dic that is disseminated intravascular coagulation have been asked hemophilia both a and b and von willebrand's disease have been asked the final chapter that is systemic pathology and miscellaneous topics these topics will also be co uh, come under will also come under the previous headings what we saw but since they are uh, unique and uh, you, uh, since i want you to remember these topics i have given them separately for example fatty liver will be covered under the intracellular accumulations but i have mentioned it again fatty changes of liver have been asked sargo spleen which is the amyloid deposits in spleen 
it has been asked nutmeg liver which is seen in congestive hepatopathy with the other name of nutmeg liver is congestive hepatopathy it has been asked the changes that seen in kidney in diabetes and the changes seen in kidney in hypertension have been asked especially the microscopic features and the giant cells both the physiological and pathological form of giant cells you should know with examples brown induration of lungs that is it is see, it, the cells are named as heart failure cells the hemosiderin deposited in macrophages are given the name heart failure cells and in um, pulmonary congestion we see <coughs> brown induration of lungs you should know in detail about that osteoporosis have been asked as a separate question this is the basic of, of transfusion medicine uh, for example uh, rh blood grouping and the transfusion reactions we could expect in a mismatch and a complication of diabetes mellitus diagnostic criteria of rheumatic fever it is more important in your general medicine chapter subject next year but it has been asked here also infective endocarditis and special stains used for fats as you uh, learnt about special stains used for amyloid you should also read about special stains used for fats so with this the important questions in pathology for the previous uh, 12 to 13 years which were asked in tamil nadu medical mgr mgr university have been um, covered uh, the this covers almost um, uh, 75% of the important topics uh, you should uh, read about more uh, related topics to write your exams more uh, well and uh, remember while answering any question in pathology uh, just check out whether you have covered the etiology pathogenesis clinical features uh, the laboratory findings and if unique if possible like uh, as i said blood picture or bone marrow picture or the histopathological diagram if possible if you have covered these things you should check uh, check start with the definition if possible so these are the basic checklists to remember while answering any question uh, so all the best for your exams and see you soon in the next video